as the summer weather persists, Rollercoin are back with a new progression event called Hotline Retrowave. I think they were actually meant to call that Hotline Heatwave. But anyway, Hotline Retrowave progression event on Rollercoin? Stay tuned to find out more. Okay, so for those of you that have seen my videos on Rollercoin before, by now you're used to the progression event videos and when they come out, I always like to do a short recap of what the uh, progression event is all about and all the rewards and miners that are offered in the event. And this time round, it is the Hotline Retrowave progression event. So here on my screen you can see the quests that you would complete and the points that you will get for each of the quests that you do complete. So as usual these are the basic normal ones like most of the progression events but sometimes they do vary a bit as well. So to get to a higher difficulty level in a game it's 500 points. I spend one RLT except for the market price crafting offers and mergers it's a thousand and so on, okay? So marketplace 400, crafting offer 1,000 and mergers 1,000. It's pretty typical, okay? What does change with every progression event is the awards and also the miners that you can get. And not only miners, but even sometimes racks and the bonuses associated with those racks. And again, with the miners, you've also got the bonuses attached as well together also there are things like the event pass like for example i'm currently on event pass 15 xp here and that will give me more xp points in order to be able to to complete the event pass here that you can see and achieve these rewards that you can see here and i am currently on level 10 i'm working on level 10 i have not yet upgraded my event pass but i soon will be to the premium pass okay because it does have the auto recharge of batteries and obviously i'll be able to get the rewards which are the seasonal ones not just the free ones so here the ones that don't have anything written on top of them those rewards i will get obviously as well when buying the premium pass i'm not buying the complete so obviously i still need to complete all of the games and the daily quests so I'll have to do that anyway but at least I'll be getting much more power and many more miners okay now back to the progression event and the progression event this week is as follows with all of these rewards just going to zoom in a bit and here we have hotline retrowave so it starts off with roller miner g1 as you saw a bit earlier on my screen I was at the 15 XP level, experience level, okay, so I'm currently working on that, it's not much to get that, 5,500, so I'm at level 7 at the moment. Now this progression event did start uh, two days ago, so at the time of recording this video it was two days ago, um, by the time the video is up on my channel it will be around three days, uh, but obviously you can see all the miners here and all the rewards that you can achieve with the most highest one at 492.8 terahash per second okay that's quite a good amount with a three percent bonus and you can also see that there are a couple of racks in there as well and other miners here as well what i like to do with every single video that i do for progression events is calculate the maximum and the total amount of mining power that you can achieve from the miners in every progression event and in this case it's no different and i have already done all the calculations for you and in the Hotline Retrowave progression event, you can achieve a total of 1.65 petahash. So I did actually calculate this and it's right here. 1.654.5 to be exact petahash per second if you actually manage to achieve all of the rewards and get all of the miners. This progression event is available for around one week and two days have already passed and you still have approximately another five days or four days remaining. We can actually check that here from the time. So it's four days exactly at the time of recording this video remaining for the progression event. Uh, however, by the time the video is up, it'll probably be three days because I think this video will be up tomorrow. So be sure to get cracking and spend your weekend trying to achieve all of those rewards because they can significantly improve your power and your hash rate as well, giving you a better chance in 
order to earn more crypto which will be added obviously to your data center when you're putting in the miners now obviously some tips and tricks from me like usual the miners you get you don't actually have to put them all in your data center some of them are not that high in power but you can actually sell them and in the marketplace and then buy something better so you're kind of trading one in for the other so you're gaining more rlt you can actually buy even from the weekly sales and popular uh, and there are some pretty good deals on as well they're not going to vary that much from the marketplace remember as well that when you're actually buying some miners from here you're also increasing the points that you have for the progression event as well so that's going to help you out to achieve the rewards faster as well and you don't necessarily need to have the multiplier what I have learned from previous experience with progression events is that in order to get the most powerful miner, which in this case is the Synthwave Sentinel, you probably will need to have some form of multiplier at some point. I don't think you're going to be able to achieve all 25 levels if you never actually have the multiplier. So if you actually think about actually getting a multiplier, which means that you actually have to get some of your crypto and convert that to RLT, okay, it could be crypto that you've actually managed to acquire. Like for example, I'm currently doing BNB and I've got 0 0.05. I can either withdraw that or maybe just convert that into RLT. And when I'm converting it into RLT, I will actually get the multiplier. And remember for every one RLT, you're getting 0.1 of a multiplier okay so if i put in one rlt i'm going to get times 1.1 in this case because i don't have a multiplier applied at the moment okay definitely make sure that if you're thinking about getting the multiplier you do these uh tasks after you actually have the multiplier applied so that you'll get even more points towards the progression event to help you achieve the highest powerful miner available faster okay so that is a tip from me for you to be able to get those faster obviously i don't think that there is any way really around it what you can try and do some people open loads of loot boxes while they have the multipliers as well but that is a bit of a gamble and you might not be lucky and you might actually lose a lot of your rlt so i don't suggest that maybe just opening one while you have the multiplier yes i do recommend that because when you're opening one you're actually achieving one of the tasks as well which is in the um, event pass and if you do event quests here you can see that opening an rlt cage is actually one of the rewards and that will give you a further 15 xp towards the season pass to allow you to get these rewards on top of what you're getting obviously from here as well okay and when you open the lowest costing rlt case it's going to cost you five rlt without any multiplier that's going to give you five thousand points towards the progression event whichever one that may be at the moment it's hotline retrowave so with hotline retrowave you will be adding five thousand points and i'd literally if i were just to open one right now clear through this whole level of the event pass right now that you're seeing on your screen and that's the way i achieve that but i wouldn't open more than one and ideally it's when i have a multiplier applied which is not something that i always do anyway so i'll just try and get to the highest level and the highest level that i normally manage to get in a progression event without the multiplier would be around 11 or 12 so 11 level 11 or level 12 that is where the points start to increase quite a bit. So at level 11 here, you need 81,900 points there for the progression event in order to get the Fury Rack 8, which is a 3% minor bonus rack. So each and every single minor that you place on that rack will give you 3% for each minor that you place on the rack. So that's pretty good as well, okay? So this was just a quick video to show you the new progression event and share some details about it. 
and I always hope that you find these videos useful and don't forget to comment down below because that is equally important not just for me but for the whole community to learn and to grow together so that we can all share the knowledge about Rollercoin and always help each other out to do the best in the game and achieve what we can from the game itself with the most potential. So I hope that you found this video useful. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Smash the like button and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.